Hey there, and thanks for watching. So there's been a lot of talk about training these large language models on your own proprietary data. And so I had some time this weekend. I thought I'd show you one example of how anyone, myself included, no coding ability, uh, no advanced technical skills, was able to build on my own pretty basic chat GPT plugin that connects to a what would be considered a proprietary data source and can then help me analyze that proprietary data source. So let's get started. So what you're looking at is a Google Sheet. I'm calling it Sales Comp Database Hypothetical. And the reason I say it's hypothetical because these are made up comps. Uh, but you could imagine each one of us in commercial real estate has our own sales comp database. If you're a broker, your database is probably quite large. If uh, you're an independent, uh, investor, your database is the size of, of whatever deals you've been able to collect over the years. If you're at a small, medium, or large size firm, your, your, comp, your sales comp database could be zero or it could be quite large. Uh, and so imagine that you have, say, a Google Sheet. And I use a Google Sheet because it's very simple. But in essence, this Google Sheet is a database. Each column is a field, property name, property type, metro, submarket, year built, gross leasable area or units, price, price per square foot per unit, cap rate and sale date, right? Kind of your typical fields in sales comps. And of course you could add any number of, of other fields that you might see valuable in analyzing your sale comps. And, and what's the purpose of having a sales comp database? Well, you're going to be valuing future investment opportunities and you wanna look at some, some comps from the past that help you then arrive at say an appropriate cap rate or price per foot or price per unit. Now let's connect this to Jet, chat GPT. And to do that, we build a plugin. Now this video isn't uh, how to build that plugin. I'll do a subsequent video on that. I will say though that the plugin itself if you are a chat GPT plus member and have developer access, meaning you have the ability to create your own plugins, and it's just a matter of registering with OpenAI, waiting several weeks or months and getting on their developer list. If you have that, let me know. I'd be happy to share the code with you. Uh, it's a replica code. I can share it. You can fork it and create your own plugin. Very simple to do, but in short, I write a script, uh, it's quite simple, go to extensions, app scripts, and what this does is it writes a script that outputs the data in a JSON format, basically a format that a, a computer a code can read. And then I write a ChatGPT plugin, a very simple thing, I don't have any coding ability, actually ChatGPT writes the plugin for me, and then because I have uh, developer access, I can deploy this plugin. So I come here to my ChatGPT Plus interface and I look at my go to GPT4 plugins and you're going to see that I've since added, actually I created two plugins. One is an ACRE content library plugin. It's something that at some point in time we're going to be releasing at ACRE. It's in essence a uh, it's a, we've trained ChatGPT on a lot of the content we have on the website and so you could come and actually prompt ChatGPT for say a model that you're interested in. It's gonna look through our database and provide you say links to some of those models. But the ACRE Sales Comp Analyzer is this plugin that I'm referring to. What this does is it connects ChatGPT to your Sales Comp database, helps you value properties faster, or in short, connects you to this database. So for instance, I have on this database, metros, Atlanta, Charlotte, Miami, Nashville. Uh, I've got multifamily office industrial retail. I've got any number of comps with ages and prices and so forth. And so I could just simply prompt and say, show me office comps in Miami uh, built after, I don't know, 2010. And what it's going to do, it's actually going to query this database. And it does that. Uh, give it a second. Now you can leave it like this, or you can open this and see what it's doing. You'll see that it does this query. It says, okay, show me property type office, property type office, Metro Miami, year built greater than 
2010. And there's one comp, and I, I, I didn't create a huge hypothetical comp database. I think there's 91 total comps across multifamily office, retail, industrial, and four different markets. There's one office comp in Miami uh, built after 2010. Let's try a different one though. How about show me sale comps in Atlanta, uh, actually multifamily. Multifamily sale comps in Atlanta. And it's gonna do a similar thing. It does that query. I'll just close that so it can do its work. It pulls up and here are some recent multifamily sale comps in Atlanta. So now it's gone out, looked at my database, pulls out those sale comps, give you the various values or the fields. Uh, it showed us three. It says, I've got more if you need them. And let's say this, excellent. Please list all multifamily sale comps in Atlanta, put them in a table that I can export to Excel. Now it'll probably say I can't create a, a table to export to Excel, but it can put it in a table. Oh, I didn't even do that. So it creates a table for me. Now this is a table that is really a matter of selecting and pasting and I could paste it into Excel. You can also ask it to create a CSV, a CSV file, which you could then convert to an Excel file. The point is it's pulled now all of the multifamily comps in Atlanta. Uh, it looks like we've got six of them uh, in some made up submarkets. Uh, but then I could say, and unfortunately as an AI, I can't directly export this data to Excel, uh, as I'd said. Say, great, uh, please take this table and add a summary row at the bottom. And now it's gonna do some analysis. Now, if, if I'd been thinking beforehand, what I would have done is included a add-in, I'm sorry, a plugin called Wolfram. Now, Wolfram is a plugin that allows ChatGPT to do math, uh, even basic math, ChatGPT isn't partic particularly good at. It certainly isn't good at doing, say, uh, weighted averages. So it has an average of 2007. I don't, I don't really trust any of these summary uh, items, but had I included the Wolfram plugin, it would have used Wolfram to do some of these calculations, and I would have been more confident in, say, my average 513 cap rate, average price per unit of 164, uh, total price across all, what is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, comps of nearly 360 million, 2,183 units. So, anyway, fun project worked on over the weekend. What's cool here? And again, if you are interested, I'd be happy to share the code. Uh, it's just a matter of sharing a link to a replit, uh, a REPL, and then you fork that, you add your own. Uh, I could share a copy of the sales comp database with these fields, and then it's just a matter of filling out, replacing these hypotheticals with your real comp data. And and this is something I'm, I'm doing myself, uh, you could then use ChatGPT for your comp analysis. Exciting project, uh, another use case for ChatGPT in commercial real estate. Do you have any questions, comments? Love to hear them. Otherwise, thanks for your time.